The Serianthes nelsoni, or Hodgson lago in Chamorro, is one of the rarest plants in the world with only one in Guam and less than 100 in Rota. In the early 2000s, a typhoon broke off part of the tree on Guam, leaving it susceptible to fungi, wildlife, and a butterfly responsible for its steady decline. The Serianthes, as far as it being discovered, it was, it was known even before the botanist named it uh, to be here on, on Guam at least. And uh, it was always known to be a rare plant. It is a leguminous tree, a legume. It's related to the flame tree it was, uh, and all these legumes like the monkey pod tree, ephit tree. It's endemic to the islands of Guam and Rota, meaning it's only found growing naturally in Guam and Rota. In 2012, the federal and local government partnered to recover the species from complete extinction. Since the Serianthes was listed in um, the 80s, 86 I believe, um, you know, since it is located on Anderson Air Force Base on the installation, Anderson has been collaborating with the local forestry office and with the University of Guam um, to preserve and, um, you know, work towards rec the recovery of the species. We put some real effort and funding into the recovery of the species and have been working with the University of Guam to um, try and since we know this tree is in, um, not in a, the greatest state, then we're trying to collect seeds and um, propagate those seeds so we can outplant in different areas. The GPEP, the Guam Plant Extinction Prevention Program, is the one who's been uh, managing that project for the university. GPEP is an island-wide program dedicated to preventing the extinction of Guam's rarest plant species that have fewer than 200 individuals remaining in the wild. The program works with conservation partners to protect wild populations, preserve plant genes off-site, and reintroduce plants to their natural habitats. The nursery here uh, is set up as a uh, rare plant nursery, and one of our primary trees that we do work on is Serianthus, and these are Serianthus seedlings uh, behind us here. In the background, you'll see that there's the, uh, some of the orchid species and some of the uh, other, other plants that are now listed. When the trees germinate in the wild, um, they're under the canopy of the mature trees. And so they start off in a shaded environment. And then as they mature, uh, openings appear in the canopy and that's where the tree will uh, come up through and become a dominant uh, plant in the habitat. Though the Serianthes thrives well in the nursery, GPEP is also looking into other ways to propagate the species through tissue cultures. For us, it's a, it's a key uh, part in us trying to regenerate this plant and get it reestablished out uh, in the forested areas. And so uh, we, we, we want to make sure that we're using clean material, that when we take it out to the field that it's, uh, it's, it's uh, very clean so we're not introducing out into the forest in areas that have been less disturbed. Um, that we don't introduce some of the pests. While there is still hope to repropagate the Hudson Lago and other areas on island, the mother tree will unfortunately succumb to the elements. However, with funding from the federal government, efforts will continue to revive the species. This is a project that is identified in the NREM, which is still under revision, but we're going off past NREMs and the NREMs, the Integrated Natural Resource Management Plan that every base, you know, has to manage their um, natural resources. So it's identified in there, which means that it is a priority to receive funding. This specific um, species, this tree, has been a priority to the, you know, Anderson Air Force Base um, for a long time. It's been an ongoing effort and collaboration, but I think now it's become <clears throat> you know, for various reasons, because it's such a hard species to outplant and maintain. And, you know, over time, people have realized that we do have to put a lot of, you know, resources and effort into the recovery of the species. So there's, um, there's been, um, this, it's kind of moved up on the list of, you know, what species we really want to focus on. Department of Navy and Anderson Air Force Base, the installation is on, you know, these lands and we have to be good stewards of the environment and manage the lands, you know, in the best possible way. And that means really to collaborate with the um, local agencies and university and people who are really putting all their effort into preserving the natural resources, which are also also of, you know, pretty important cultural value to people. For Joint Region Marianas, I'm Joanna Delphin. <laughs>